Today I will do the drama life of actor and film director Clint Eastwood. Proud of his American ancestors, merchants and miners, Clint was born in 1913 in San Francisco. Hard times, this is the Great Depression. Clint will receive his dad's first name Clinton in a junior version and will already be famous because the baby weight over 5 kilograms, 11 pounds. Clint will grow up to reach 1 meter 93, 6 feet 3 inches. He spent his childhood in a lost place near Auckland, full of assholes, as they say there. Colorful expressions that the actor will like to place in most of his movies. The 30s are a shit time, as he says, and he will often relocate. One good memory will remain, he learned to ride horses at his grandmother's house. Clint hates school and will become rebel. After lifeguard training, he does his military service during the Korean War, he teaches swimming to the GIs of Fort Ord, and for this reason won't go to war. He also will have his first contact with the Universal Pictures studio there. He's good looking, tall, handsome, this is the reason why he goes to castings, and why he's got so many marriage. He only find B-series supporting acts, but ended up with a leading role in a TV series, Raw Hide where he plays a co-herd in West America. The role of cowboy suits him like a glove. Sergio Leon, director of Spaghetti Western, will notice him and hires him, instead of James Coburn and Charles Brunson, because Clint asked for a lower fee. His first major role is the man with no name. His agent will say that this is a bad choice for his career, a mal paso. But the movies are successful. For a fistful of dollars, followed by a, for a few dollars more, and the famous, the good, the bad and the ugly, where he will play the good one. He excels in a play of pure presence that supports long silences, where the world is divided into two categories, those who hold a loaded gun and those who dig. Clint's acting is defined by Sergio Leone as a dynamic lethargy, and always with the same poncho that he never washed, otherwise it will go to shreds. Then comes the actor flagship series in his role as Harry Callahan, Dirty Harry, where he succeeded in his castings because he knows how to handle a gun, which was not the case of Robert Mitchum and Steve McQueen. And what a gun is 44 Magnum, he also plays a supporting role of the film series. Filmed in his hometown, always asking if he fired 5 or 6 shots, a saga in which Smith, Wesson and Harry Callahan offer fast justice and row a damaged car in a city full of assholes where a dead gangster will make his day anti-hero who hunts a six shots clean off judge and hates everyone Limis, Mix, Savior, Fat Digos, Niggas, Honky Chink and Specialist Pigs and the shitty crazy justice system after all that, he was offered other roles, like Superman or 007, but Clint Eastwood refuses, it's really not his style. Clint prefers to start a career as a director in addition to being an actor in his film, under the name of the Malpaso Company. He will play the cobra with a sensitive trigger in Ruthless, a photographer in love with bridges and dispatched high his wife in the road of to Madison, a retired man who gets his ticket to space in Space Cowboys, a boxing trainer and million dollar baby, a spy and Soviet steel plane pilot, and a retable war veteran when you walk on his lawn in Gran Torino, an elderly horticulturalist and drug transporter in the mule, and always filming with the action world and with one take. This way you don't stretch the houses and don't waste everybody's time. That's the end of the story of Clint Eastwood, a great man who will have engraved his style in the history of cinema.